to Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, and others, the main reason for fasting includes spiritual purification and self-discipline. March and April 2023 have been holy months due to the fact that Lent and Ramadan were observed simultaneously. But do they have anything in common? Ashley Mazuri interrogates. Ramadan is probably one of the most famous fasting period worldwide. Ramadan, which is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar, is one of the holiest months for Muslims and is marked by a period of fasting, considered one of the five pillars of Islam. The pillars, including faith, prayer, charity, and making the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca, are five principles which Muslims believe a compulsory act ordered by God. Mwezi mtukufu Ramadhan ndio mwezi mtukufu bora katika mwezi 12 katika kalenda ya Kiislamu. Imepokewa katika vitabu vitakatifu vya hadithi. Muslims believe that Ramadan is the month when the first verses of the Holy Book Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad more than 1,400 years ago. Ramadan begins 10 to 12 days earlier each year. This is because the Islamic calendar is based on the lunar Hijri calendar with months that are 29 or 30 days long. Sisi katika January mpaka December tunakwenda kwa hisabu ya shamsia tunaita ni jua linatoa hesabu likatupa january mpaka mpaka december tafauti na mwezi alqamaria wanaita luna calendar ambao luna calendar ndio miezi ya ya kiislam for muslims fasting entails abstinence from eating drinking smoking and sexual relations during daylight hours to achieve greater taqwa or consciousness of god they have an early morning meal before dawn, known as suhor or daku as commonly known in Swahili, and break their fast after sunset for their evening meal called iftar or fitur. We fast because it is a must for us to fast. Allah have prescribed for us to fast during the month of Ramadan. And two, we fast so that we can acquire piety. So as long as you fast, you will be pure. Despite the fact that fasting is compulsory, fasting should only be done by people who are in good health. Exemption is given to the sick, children who have not reached puberty, pregnant and breastfeeding women, and menstruating women or people traveling. <laughs> In Islam, faithful are encouraged to give to charity, strengthen their relationship with God, and show kindness and patience. However, for Christians, fasting is used as a way to purify the body, practice self-control, and save resources to give to the poor. Sisi Islam upeno mtaza maji, ikifika ni kufunga, unawacha maji, unawacha chakula, unawacha kustarehe na mke wako, kabisa, yani hakuna hata kuonja hata tamamoja la maji. Lakini kwa ndugu zetu wa usema kwa kuwa, ikiwa labda ulikuwa unatumia kitu fulani kwa wingi, unakipunguza. Kwa hivyo, uingiliano hupo, umekaribiana kwa kuwa, ni kujifunga, dini zote mbili, at least, kujifunga na mambo mengi ambayo kama ni ya kidunia. For Christians, Lent is the greatest and most solemn period of fasting on the Christian church's calendar, leading up to the celebration of Christianity's most important feast day, Easter. Christians fast in anticipation that it will equip them to experience the Holy Spirit more powerfully. During Lent, Christians replicate the biblical account of Jesus withdrawing to the desert to pray and fast for the 40 days. Some Christians often abstain from eating meat on Fridays during Lent and some for the entire period. Some also give up coffee, candy or another item they see as a personal sacrifice. The church has a practice of this season because it wants the people who believe in Christ to internalize their faith. Because faith is not just on triumphantism of things, but church the faith has to do with your inner lives in relationship with God and one another. 
Like most practices rooted in Christianity, the way people observe length or whether they observe it at all varies widely depending on their heritage, specific religious tradition and preferences. Kwa hivyo tunaposherehekea hii siku tatu za kanisa hasa wakati huu tunakumbuka kwamba Kristo aliteseka akafa pia msalabani na siku ya tatu akafufuka. Ndio maana tunasema ni wakati muhimu sana tunapotarajia ufufuko wake. Maana ya ufufuko ni kwamba sisi wote kama wa Kristo tunaitwa pia tuishi kwa amani, tuishi kwa upendo na pia tuishi katika imani yetu ikitu ikituelekeza katika mbinguni. Lent is observed from Ash Wednesday through Holy Saturday, the day before Easter, which marks their belief in the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. The concept behind Lent is that each year Christians will mimic Jesus' actions in the wilderness. It is a period of time in which Christians are meant to give up some comfort or adopt some spiritual practice that leads to self-examination, repentance from sin, and ultimately renewal of the soul, all in anticipation of greater dedication to serving others and God in the coming year. Ashley Mazuri, KTN News. Moving on, President William Ruto has urged Kenyans to embrace farming. Uh,